let's just say more focus needs to be brought in to where we're all at and where we all have to live. I feel like our manufacturing has been outsourced for so long that we forgot what it's like uh, to be the innovators and the pioneers and to be the producers. And right now, you know, it, you look at it, you know, survival is really big right now. Everyone's interested in survival things and this zombie stuff and whatever, you know, what, what happens if the proverbial, you know, crap hits the fan? Well, right now in manufacturing and in America and in taking care of our own, I feel like the proverbial crap has already kind of hit the fan. And we need to take it back in, we need to machine up, we need to get tool and die makers back in, and we need to become the masters of our own domain domain and, and we need we need to control the manufacturing more we need to make sure that that if all else fails we can still make what we need to make to get by because right now most things that you buy you have to run to Walmart hope that they're open and that what you need is on the shelf that was manufactured in China I would be, feel more secure knowing that we have more capability and uh, more security in home and uh, security starts with manufacturing in my opinion how do you well, I'll equate it with something that I know a little bit about also in another industry. It's like music. Um, an artist uh, makes the worst music in the end of their career because they're pushed by the record companies that say, look man, you had a deadline here. We've already paid you. You've already been in the hot tub and you've already done all the cocaine, but you promised us this many songs or this album or a greatest hits. Or it's, and, and it's all managed by the record companies. What I find is when you're left alone to your own creative device, you can sit under the shade tree, you can say to yourself, wouldn't this be great? And this is where the innovative stuff comes from. This is where the folding ulu came from. This is where the kicker assist came from. This is when you find an inventor, you know, um, uh, necessity is the mother and father of all invention. And you don't find the necessity when you're just in this, you know, humdrum, you know, uh, busybody, you know, atmosphere. You need time. You need time to find out what it is that's going to that's going to evolve you or take you to the next level and so what I enjoy is the process of creation where you really think of something that needs to be done and you start kind of solving a problem rather than just trying to draw something or do something for a profit and so um, the process for me the creative process starts out under that shade tree it's when you have a minute so and I, I really enjoy that and then and then when you do that you believe in it more and, and you don't want to just be in the cradle process. You want to bring it to the grave. You want to see. You want to see it all the way through. <laughs> Dude, you, you have a lot of fun doing this, man. Like you have yeah. the spirit about you that I think is. I have a lot. It's a passion. You you can't be in this for a profit, man. It's like it's like buying a boat to make money. <laughs> you know, just empty every pocket. But uh, that's a Jeep reference. But no, I love doing it. I and and most of the people that I'm friends with in this industry love doing it. And you can see the love of doing it behind their work. There's people that won't come out with anything for years, and where did they go? But then they'll win an award at the next show for the most badass thing you ever seen, because and you can tell they just needed to sit under that damn shade tree. And but yes, I love it. I love the whole industry. I love the support. Um, I, I really love American manufacturing, and I, I just I believe so much in it. Mike Bellacamp, the person. Yeah. He's an annoying, lazy drunk, and he's not good with money. <laughs> no, uh, me, I, I have a personality just like everybody, I suppose. Um, you either love it or you hate it. Um, I, got, I got a lot of love in this industry for some reason, and I think it's because uh, this industry attracts people like me. Everyone's a character. But uh, me as a person, you know, I enjoy family. I, uh, I'm very, uh, very slow to find friends. Uh, but I have a few that I, I will die for, and um, that's the kind of relationships that I enjoy on a friend level. Um, the way I do business is more from the hip. Um, I don't need contracts. I need people that I can believe in, that I can be there for, that will be there for me. I believe that you know it's not worth uh, spending a dollar to make a dime. Um, not terribly showy, except for this thing I had printed here. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was going to fade more in the background, but I'm getting plenty of crap over it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, 
you know, have a good time. Don't tread on anybody. And, uh, you know, the golden rule, do unto others. That's how I believe. And that's, I wish, how everybody believed. Why should why should the guys watching this support you? Because of my logo, it's awesome. No. <laughs> uh, just because it's the American dream. Uh, I'm trying to do something that everybody really wants to do, and that I hope everybody gets a chance to do, whether they actually go for it or not. I think everyone uh, should have this chance, and, and I'm going for it. And uh, I, I'm another guy um, out of many that is in America that's trying to make the dream come true. So, hell, why not? You know what? Shorten the thing down to three minutes. <laughs> Are you hopeful about the, the state of things right now? Oh yes, yes, because I see I see American manufacturing coming back. I see people eager to do their their own uh, what's within their own uh, talents and and their their own uh, their own way to make things happen more here. Um, I see people sitting less and standing more, and and, and, and that's it's a good feeling. I, I think people more now are aware of, of the fact of how government operates and stuff like that. We're we're just going to keep it free. We're gonna we're gonna go back and look at things again and just keep it honest. And so I, I see a lot of that happening. I see people waking up. I see people standing up. I see people working harder. I see people getting off the the video games. Uh, and I see people changing their diets a little better. I, I I'm, I'm thinking America. America's not going to be the you know, the home of the fat and lazy anymore, and we're all we're all kind of starting to realize we all got to go to work in the morning. And and I, yeah, I'm very hopeful, very very hopeful for not just the industry but the country, the greatest country in the world. Thanks for sharing this uh, this moment with us, man. Hey, you're more than welcome. Thank you. All the best.